Hi guys, so today we're going to talk about uh, an idea that I learned from Ben Settle and that is when you have an index in a book and every single chapter of each, um, yeah, every single name of the cha of, of chapter is actually a headline that could sell a book on its own. So, um, this is not written by Ben Settle. This is written by um, Victor Schwab, who was an amazing copywriter. And he wrote a book that you should probably get. And it's called How to Write a Good Advertisement, again, by Victor Schwab. And he wrote this incredible headline that has worked for decades and decades and decades. And to this very day keeps selling this book because the name of the book itself is the best headline to sell that book. It's incredible. So how to win friends and influence people. What a, a fantastic um, headline and name for a book. Um, so also, um, let's look at the ad here. You can see that they offer it for no money. You can look at the book, they send it to you, and only if you like the book, then later you can pay for the book. So very well written, everything. And now we're going to look. This is the index of all the chapters in the book. And I'm going to blow it up a little bit. And here you can see that every chapter has for a name. It has basically a sales headline. So first headline, the big secret of dealing with people. So people love to be told secrets, things that nobody else knows. Six ways to make people like you instantly. So this is another typical headline formula. You say six ways, 10 ways, uh, seven ways works very well. And I have a free book that I give away called Top 10 Rules for Successful Advertising. So Top 10 Rules for whatever, right? Or seven reasons why that type of headline works very well. If you're interested in my free ebook, you can get it in the description. There is a link there and you can get it. There is absolutely no obligation. It's totally free. Easy way to become a good conversationalist. Yeah. So easy way you're telling them that they will be conversationalists without having to read all the Shakespeare novels, I mean, uh, plays. And, um, you know, it's just something easy that you can do and you can implement today. A simple way to make a good first impression. So, especially in business or also in social life, a first impression can really determine the way people look at you forever, right? So this is a very nice promise that, you know, if you implement this and this is a good, successful uh, method, then it could, it could really change your life. How to interest people. So this, again, very valuable for business, but also for your love life, you know. Uh, people generally will tend to be with people that they're interested in, in some way or another. Next headline, 12 ways to win people to your way of thinking. Wow, wonderful. So, 12 ways, again, with the lists. Yeah, people love lists. Um, to win people to your way of thinking. If people think your way, that means they will eventually admire you, right? A sure way of making enemies and how to avoid it. Well, this is also something that nobody wants. Nobody wants enemies. So, a very nice promise here as well. 
the safety valve in handling complaints. You know, if you handle a complaint well, uh, you can actually make a customer for life. Yeah. If the customer sees that you take their complaint, you know, with a serious attitude and try to, you know, give them satisfaction, these, this, pe this person will stay with you for life. How to get cooperation. Very important for managers. A formula that will work wonders for you. And this is a little bit weaker, a little bit more vague. I don't like this one quite as much. The movies do it. Radio does it. Why don't you do it? So here, they're giving you proof that people with money and businesses and successful enterprises like the movies and the radio are doing something that you are not doing. Yeah, so very strong. Nine ways to change people without giving offense or arousing resentment. Yeah, so unfortunately, people want to change you. Yeah, your spouse wants to change you. You want to change your kids. You want to change your coworkers. Uh, we don't want to admit it, but we want people to be like us. Yeah, so very nice promise. How to criticize and not be hated for it. Very important skill for a manager or for a parent. How to spur men to success. Well, if you have that power, won't you be admired? Won't people love you? Making people glad to do what you want. Well, this is kind of like a superpower, isn't it? If people want to do what you want, then you don't have to work for it. They do it for you. Letters that produce miraculous results. Well, right now we're reading an advertisement. We call this a sales letter very often. And letters that have been successful in the past can be sort of used as a learning tool like we're using now. Seven rules for making your home life happier. Well, half of marriages and in divorce, more or less. So, big promise, very good ad, and the success of this book over the years has been massive. So, guys, pay attention to Ben Settle, pay attention to Vic Schwab. Have a good one.